Here we are, Donkey Kong Country. I love this game. Let's play it. I've been like raring to do this for a while. <laughs> if you'll if you'll pardon the little pun. Oh, that's just a little joke. <laughs> I just like I just made a little joke. So yeah, I never played this game as a kid. I remember one time I went to a friend's house and they had this game. And I was like, holy fuck, I want it in my life. And then eventually I got the remake on the Game Boy Advance. For, uh, not for this original one, though. I got it for Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3. So I played those a lot more than this one, but this is the originator. I'm Donkey Kong, so yeah, I have a little less experience playing this one, but I, I know some of the things. I know some of the secrets! I just noticed there's a fish swimming in the painting in the background. Oh. Oh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, this is- I mean, this game is just fun. One of those ones, it's not a super deep story. It, it looks pretty dated nowadays. I don't think it's like the worst looking thing in the universe though. How exactly do you do it again? It's like when you're moving over this point, you like press A and it sends you to like vulture culture or some shit. Hold on. Come on, do the thing. It's like right on the crux here. If you, if you hit A while you're on the crux pixel. I, I, I've done this before on a real SNES. Which this is, by the way. <laughs> I never understood what was up with these ropes. What are they doing, like, in the moments up until I grab them? Also, okay. This goes without saying, but this game's soundtrack absolutely slaps. For a SNES game? Like, what the fuck? That's right, four shades of grey and a two-by-two two character block, that's all we had! Is he just gonna keep saying bullshit until I leave? I'm not quite sure what it is about a banana that makes the sound- but it is a satisfying sound. It's like satisfying to collect a bunch of bananas. The game makes me want to eat a banana. I don't have any. I'm low on potassium. I've been talking about how my knees hurt. My, the blood in my veins has been crystallizing slowly over time because I've been eating so much food with soy sauce. I've got so much salt in my blood that it's just, I'm grinding to a halt. This song would go on to be ripped off in so many water levels. Like, I didn't even really play this as a kid, but it just has a nostalgic quality to it. Oh, shit. Oh, that's it. I think that's a secret down there. A single banana is always an indicator of a cool secret. Yeah. Yeah. These fish, they don't look particularly menacing. They kind of look like they're in the background, almost. Oh. Whoa. Diddy, get on. What if you could fucking, like, dual wield on guard? That would be amazing. My bodacious jumbo barrel can launch you to any point on the island. I think this is pointless right now, yeah. I wish- what if you could go back to Donkey Kong's hut? And it's like a special secret level. I'm gonna get the glitch while I'm in Funky's flights. Oh! Oh! I did it! What happens now? Am I still gonna be in- oh. Nope. <laughs> I'm, I'm no longer in airplane mode. I guess we're here now. Did it just take me to the end of like an early level? Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, that was maybe the perfect way to demonstrate it without losing my place in the game. Oh, hey. Fresh, cheeky secrets. Oh, man. I hate playing the level. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, I died. Fuck! Oh, my god. Okay, I need to get the fucking hang of this again. <laughs> Says, oh, B, get out of my fucking way. Oh my god. This I distinctly remember seeing when I was younger. I distinctly remember seeing Candy's save point. I was like, always, I was always like, you gotta jump to dodge the, the hearts that she's shooting at you. This is Naughty Beaver. And this is literally also in Banjo Kazooie. Like, this exact same character shows up in Banjo Kazooie. I got 18 lives, so. Hopefully I don't get a game over. I might, though. I very well may. These guys really, they don't... Your reaction time has to be on point for these bros. <sighs> oh! Get back in. Okay. Cog! Okay. Woo! Woo! yo ha cha cha Okay, I thought I was dead. Okay. There's gonna be one last, like, fuck you enemy. Right before the end. Holy shit. Where is he? Where's the last fuck you enemy? There he is. 
I, I remember that distinctly. Oh no. They're desynced. Oh, they're desynced! I thought there was a secret up there. Fuck. Ah! That was the very end. That was the end of the level right there. Oi. Ah, uh, the essential N for Nintendo. Ah! <laughs> Sounds that are just like embedded into my memory. Very atmospheric music. This is like one of the, you know, somebody was saying, oh, you know, plenty of SNES games have banger soundtracks. And it's like, yeah, like Mario World and Yoshi's Island and all that shit, like Earthbound, they all have great soundtracks, but this is the only one where I feel like I would listen to this on its own, like, outside of, like, playing the game. Also, I, I hate the sound of these things clapping their teeth together. It makes my teeth hurt, just hearing it. Like, oh man, be careful, you're gonna like break your teeth. Bro. Ah! Can I help you monkeys save your game? Okay, so are we gonna talk about Candy Kong? Like, anthropomorphized... Like, it, you know, I'm not shaming, but like, slutty monkey. I think we can all agree that's a slutty monkey. Oh, this is the level where you can get infinite lives. Let's see if I can actually do this. I don't even really remember how to do this. Uh. Shit. Maybe you need to do it over here, actually. Forget exactly. Also, this is like Xavier Renegade Angel. This music is literally Xavier Renegade Angel. Also, I fucked it up. What doth life, life? I, I did it wrong, clearly. I don't remember exactly how to do that. Oh, there it is. Oh, the classic sound. An image of my computer's processor. Working hard to bring you these streams every day. Like, does anybody else detect the, like, hardcore... Xavier Renegade Angel vibes. Like, is that a Shaka Shuri playing right now? Shaka Shuri Blowdown is maybe like one of the hypest like final battles of any piece of media ever conceived, by the way. Everything should end in just a complete acid trip. It's a classic. I, I think I would say this game still looks good. Like we played Gish the other day and that game somehow looked more dated than this. And Gish came out in 2004. Da -da 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 -ha -ha. Life! Oh! I lost a life! Alright, let's get on the frog. Uh, the OxyClean Detergent Frog! Get on the ball! Get, get on the ball! Ooh. Can I get back on the frog? There you go. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> I hear if you roll off a platform and press the jump button, you'll do a super jump! Is that what they call it? Apparently it is canon that Cranky Kong is supposed to be the old arcade Donkey Kong, but like grown up and like jaded. Necky. I remember this boss. Weird fucking boss. I'm not sure how I feel about the like void of bananas that all these bosses take place in too. Just something kind of weird about it. Oh, Donkey Kong's walking, man. Look at him go. Hey, that's the feeling when you're walking. Ah, e, ooh, ah, ah. Plenty of lives. I wonder if I can do this game without a game over. I would be happy with that, because this is not, not an incredibly easy game. Oh. Ah! Whoa, what was that insane bounce? <laughs> that's just fun. That is just fun. So here's something that I think this game is amazing at, and this series is amazing at, is not lying to you with secrets. Can you imagine the kind of havoc it would wreak if one of these games, at one point, they just like, they put one of those random banana peels down there, and then it just doesn't even lead to an actual secret, it's just nothing? That would destroy your trust in the game. But this game is like trustworthy. And it's like, no, if there's a little banana down there, you can shoot down there and there'll be a secret for you. We, they would not deceive you. Oh, fuck. This game taught me to trust bananas with my life. Oh, great. Now one of these. Oh, <laughs> that's hype. Oh, that's hype. I always thought the little dance they did at the end of a level is like janky looking. Like the way Donkey Kong's arms like stretch out. Just for you! 
So, who is operating these ropes? Are there, like, monkeys up there just, like, dangling these for our video gaming pleasure? It has, like, no right to look this good. And, like, other games that would go for a similar, like, realistic-esque style kind of, like, look ugly as shit. So it's a marvel that this game actually manages to look really good. Ah. Oh. Yahoo. And they do genuinely, like, interesting stuff with platforming, too. Oh. <laughs> I'm styling on them. I'm styling on them. Check out these- oh, shit. These sick plays, bro. Check out these sick plays. Whoa, whoa! Zoom! Zoom! Why are they so fast on this one? I think it's like there's a set amount of time that passes between each, like, marker on the map. So on this one, since it's so long, they just go- Yeah, I'm getting chased by these. Pretty sure. I'm not gonna let go of right on the D-pad for this entire level. No matter what happens. I'm not gonna let go of right. Oh shit. See, there's a there's a secret. I'm still holding right. Oh this oh that that's a lame way for that whole system to break down. God damn it. I couldn't get enough bounce! Ah! Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna play the game normally. Aliens. Oh my god, it's like the, the construction of the pyramids. The way they made this game work on SNES, aliens intervened and helped them out. That's the only way to explain it. I mean, name one other explanation that works. I don't think you can. Aliens. Woo! Ah-ho, ah-ho. Uh, it's slightly close, folks. It was very slightly close, but it's a good thing I'm a pro gamer. Look at this guy. He's just absolutely fucking yeeting those barrels. Ah! Oh! Oh, that was a little bit of horse shit. Uh, hey, can we call that a little bit of horse shit? How the fuck was I supposed to see that coming? Like, now I feel like I have to inch forward everywhere. Clam City. Holy shit, guys. Shell City. Look at this. I love the way that the level gets snowy over time, too. Okay. Please. Oh, that should give you a Kong. That should give you a Kong when that happens. Fuck. When you- when one of your Kongs dies holding another Kong barrel, I think this was- changed so that this actually happens in the advanced remakes. It should make it so that you get the other Kong. We're gonna learn a little bit about vulture culture. What the fuck? Okay. Look at this. Now it's like a full-on blizzard. Just, uh, you know, like I said, the story is bare bones, but that doesn't mean that they skimped out on the atmosphere or like the tone at all. In fact, the tone and the atmosphere are like rock solid. These levels are so atmospheric for a SNES game, it's insane. It's like a little hard to see what's going on, but I don't even care. Oh, look at this shit. I've, I've said before, there's always a crystal cave area. Such a, like, nostalgic-looking thing. Maybe just because I liked gems when I was younger. Fuck. Secret? 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 Oh. What does that say? Oh, Nintendo. For, for some reason, I thought it said nicotine. That if if you want a little extra challenge, you can try getting up this one on your own. It's like the rope climb in like gym class that I always see in movies, but I never had to do, and I'm so glad I didn't have to do it. Cause holy fuck, I don't want to climb a fucking like vertical rope. <laughs> oh, where am I gonna go? <laughs> I'm just trusting that there will be ropes wherever I jump. Honestly. Which, oh, did you see that? Did you see me just pass through that enemy? Kinda of hard to see where I'm jumping right now. I had a minor complaint. If I had a rich man, I know what I said, I wanna own a person. Og. OG. Just like the game. Check it out, check it out, check it out, guys. I'm gonna slide right in, slide. Oh, what? 
I cannot slide out of the end. What? Unbelievable. Worst day of my life. So is this like... It's like an icy water level. Donkey Kong, I mean... Not even talking about the whole air thing. Donkey Kong should be dead. He's an ice monkey right now. Ah. I don't like these enemies that transcend barriers. And just go wherever they want. It's too much freedom for an enemy. Ah! And look at that! Okay. Oh. Oh, that- what the fuck? That looked really weird. I bet I can kill these guys with unguard. Nope! Okay, never mind. I am now behind the octopus. This is kind of fucking insane, actually. Like some Mega Man 2 jumps with these things on either end of the platform. Seriously, like, the, the candy save barrel area really was the one that, like, stuck out in my memory the most. That and, like, the actual image of, like, the whole island that was shaped like DK's head. That's, like, burned into my memory. Oh, shit. Ah! Whoa! Okay. If, if a girl ever tries to distract you with blowing kisses at you, just jump right over it, into the save barrel, alright? Donkey Kong is life. I want that. I want it! Give me the life. If I if I go in here and I only have 13 lives, I'm gonna cry. Okay, thank god. It actually did give me the life. I didn't do the roll jump properly. Oh, sorry, the super jump. For each animal, you have like a custom collectible. Your own like little golden thing shaped like a frog. Oh shit! Oh! Oh shit! I don't know if I've ever found that giant golden frog. <laughs> okay, wow. One last fuck you jump right before the end. Oh, that beaver is insane. That beaver is absolutely insane. Why do you need this? Yahoo. Oh my god, yeah. Listen to this. Listen to this music. Just listen. They put this in a SNES game about silly jumping monkeys. For a second I was like, how do I even do this? Also, I love that shit's just floating out here. They're not even gonna try to explain that shit. Just a floating tire. Fuck you. <laughs> Why was I- I was just goofing around. Why'd you kill me while I'm goofing around, game? That being said, I'm going to continue to goof around. Wait, why did that guy not, like, activate? Wait, there was just a dude, like, walking up there, and he didn't even come down here. He's just forever up there. Oh, what? Where did the- what? I think I unspawned a platform just now. When I jumped, the platform was there, and when I returned, the platform was not there. A quick spin in my save barrel. That miss me with that gay shit. Trying to blow me a kiss? Miss me with that shit. Somebody says, what happened to the, like, 20 lives he had? Can, can we just be honest in chat and just say, hey, can we talk about how he died a lot? I got through Fury without any game overs. Let's see if I can do the same for Donkey Kong Country. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> the camera. Ah! The camera took a second to catch up. What is this? Oh. I was like, if I just go up here and it's just like... Congratulations, you have died. I'm gonna be real mad. Oh! This is the most nerve-wracking moment of my entire life. I don't know. Ah! Is it just gonna, like, continually send random fish? <sighs> Give me a barrel. Give me a DK barrel. Okay, this works too. Minecart. Oh, God. Hey, I'm at zero lives, and now it's a minecart level. I started this level a boy, and now I'm gonna be a man. Oh! Oh, the rules are different, though. The minecart rules are different. Ah! <gasps> Ooh. Ah! What's happening? Oh, that was- Oh! Oh, fuck off! The worst way to game over! The absolute worst way to game over. Alright, Donkey Kong Country is officially harder than Fury. You heard it here first, folks. Ah, oh. My god, I, I keep- mm! I, I keep wanting to jump when the fucking railroad tracks end and there's like nothing else in sight. So sue me. 
Look at this. Look at this. I did the exact same thing again because it doesn't- there's- it looks like you're falling off a fucking cliff! <laughs> it looks like you're about to just, like, die. <sighs> it's the part with the uphill slope. That's the really fucking tricky part. Uphill slope full of wasps. This part right here. Oh, very tight jumps there. Oh! Ah! <laughs> did all that. I did all that. And then Naughty Beaver. Got me. All right, now I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna do it. Uh, let me go, let me go, what? What? Okay. Well, it forced me to track along with the minecart for some reason. That sucked so much. I, I wanted to fucking jump into the thing. You have to fall off at the very, you know, like you have to jump off at the end and then go back and backtrack. I don't, I don't actually want to go back and get that secret now. Wow, that was really the end. It, literally, they put one enemy at the end of every level to, like, as a fuck you. You guys know how I like it when they fuck with your lighting. Yeah. Like, this just basically forces you to just, like, sit there for a bit, you know? It's like, hey, have fun sitting there and waiting for the level to be playable. I don't know, like, I'm sure if you've played this level a bunch of times and, like, remember where everything is, then it's a lot easier, but it's just like, eh. I'd much prefer just a normal level. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, this is not a great level. <clears throat> At least that Minecraft level was just, uh, hard. I know what I said. You think they're not gonna pay homage to the greatest game ever made, Minecraft? Alright, hey, you know what I like about this level? I can fucking see with my eyes. Why would I do that? Why did I do that? Oh! Push it past the beavers! Push it past the beavers! <gasps> okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have seen that coming and reacted to it, mate. Yeah. They tried so many different things with lighting in this game. It's kinda- Oh my god. It's kinda insane. That was mean. That was a mean one. They knew it would run out that fast. That's the thing with, like, tightly designed games, is when they screw you over, you know that shit was intentional. Oh, I had my doubters when I didn't save earlier. It's true. There were some detractors, but... They just doubted in my ultimate gaming skill. <laughs> Donkey Kong holds a barrel in the darkness. Does anybody know that meme? Oh, get fucked, beaver. <laughs> Don't you dare! Oh, fuck off. Oh, I hate those guys when I'm when I'm diddy because it's like you can hardly do anything about it. Switch characters. Switch characters. Okay, it wouldn't let me switch characters. It, it just would not let me. Oh, look at that! That long distance high five. Oh, what the fuck was with that? What? I am aware you can roll into those guys, but you can't roll in midair. Is my issue. That would be. A viable strat if you could roll in midair. Could I? Oh shit! Oh! I actually could slick it. That guy's scream was like cut off. He was like, oh. Alright. Gangplank Galleon, here we are. Get your K rules on, because this fight's fucking hard. Kind of memorization. I think this is like, you know, everybody loves K. Rule. He's a great villain, but uh, this first final boss is kind of hokey. It's like not the greatest. It is epic, you know, it's like you're on the pirate ship, the whole island is in the background. Where the fuck are these cannonballs coming from? If you don't mind my asking, K. Rule. Asking K. Rule! Ha! Oh, right, those must be crow's nest cannons. No, sorry. Somebody's like, cannons, idiot! Just, you know, like, six cannons in the sky. Yeah, that's where cannons normally are. He's 
like so much waiting involved, especially with this attack. He just like sits there. It's like, man, I wish I could just like go up and hit him. <laughs> Alright, now the fake out. Yay, credits. But like fake ones. Coding. Characters. They didn't even put an H after the K. They don't even know how to spell. Oh, and they spelled coloring English style. Unbelievable. We have to like sit through that every time I like retry this fight. Because now he's gonna fucking go absolutely insane. <laughs> Alright, I feel like I got it now though. What if his walk animation was that fast in Smash? It'd be fucking insane. Look at this. We really have to sit through this every time. That's how fucking drawn out this fight is. Like, it's very funny, but come on. Okay, now he's gonna go absolutely fucking nuts. I mean, how are you supposed to see that coming? Like, there is no way to see that coming. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm the real dong. I'm the real dong. Yeah, bitch! Oh, I'm the real dong, everyone. It was me all the time. Yeah! Yeah! You know, I think in real life, I'm gonna go eat a banana. If I ever make a video game, it will absolutely have one of these. I guarantee, if I ever make a video game, it will have an enemy roll call. Because I think this is like, the cutest shit. I know games don't really do this much anymore. I love this. Yep, I'm gonna play 2 and 3, and, uh... Returns, and then finally I will do, uh, Tropical Freeze, which I have never played. The good guys. Rambi. Expresso. On guard. Winky. Mandolin. Oh, sorry. Squawks. And finally, Tubular Bells. Yeah. Oh, and now we get this cute little, like, Three Stooges cutscene. I remember this. They, like, beat the shit out of each other. Never quite understood what was up with this. It's just like, ah, hee hee, a little bit of fun. But also, they're, like, hurting each other. <laughs> I did this using one life! And it took less than an hour! A Smith. They just got a Smith to do the backgrounds. What a great game. What a great series. I can't wait to play more of them. I'll, I think I'm gonna go and do... Uh, try to do some glitches. Just for shits and giggles. Wait, wait for the Ouya. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna get infinite lives here. I'm gonna... Oh. Shit. I'm gonna let Donkey Kong die. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I found a bonus on accident. It's like this. Uh... Shit. Life. Infinite life. There it is, folks. I did it. Oh, I'm going even faster now. Oh god, I can't stop it! I can't stop it! I stopped it. I know there's one where you can fucking ride DK. That's the one that I'm really looking for, to be perfectly honest. Can I bring Rambi in here? Oh my god, I can. Oh, no! Rambi! Where'd Rambi go? What the fuck? Oh, what the- oh, The barrel left instantly! I, I clearly didn't do it right. Clearly. I do, does Rambi need to be, like, out of his thing? Also, I, I don't even think I'm pressing the right button. How do I- it says grab the barrel. Wait. I don't even fucking understand what I'm doing. It says, after obtaining both. So after getting both the metal barrel and the animal buddy, I don't know exactly what that means. Do I open the box? Do I close the box? Toss the barrel in such a way they can jump on it before it rolls past the animal. And then grab the barrel at the right moment. I just need to look up a fucking video of this happening, because this, this wiki is doing a fucking awful job of describing it. Okay, yeah, no, I do need to have the animal out. I, I still am not 100% sure what I'm doing. Because it says grab the barrel, but I, I don't know how to do that while I'm riding it. I, I do not know how to do that. Okay, I'm just gonna, I, I need to test to see how do I take the barrel? I just, mm. Mm. 
Okay, it just says, just unmount the barrel the moment you're passing Rambi. So literally the fucking Mario wiki is awfully written. Okay, that's cool. That's good to know. Okay, so I just, it's just jumping. It, it, literally the guide was just like wrong. It was just like incorrect on how to do it. You're not supposed to jump off the barrel. Okay, tell me what to do then. Tell me what to do. Please, <laughs> I'm begging you. I am fucking like begging. Push, grab. Okay, I did. Okay, I did though. Watch, I will press the button. Nothing happens. Nothing happens when you grab it. Wait, what? What the fuck? Wait, I, how did I even do that? What? Is it B and Y? Excuse the hell out of me? Two buttons at once? Okay, it's two buttons at once. You gotta press two buttons at once, and then you get a Donkey Kong fucking another Donkey Kong. Jesus fucking Christ. Is it that hard to, like, write in a guide? I did it. Here we are. This is how the game's meant to be. Unmount as you go past, then let go of Y. That's wrong, too! That's wrong, too! How is everybody wrong about how to do this? <laughs> okay, now let's do it with Diddy. Now that I know how to do it, it's fucking the easiest thing in the world, oh my god. It was literally, I just had to have good instructions, it turns out. Write the guide yourself, apparently I have to. I don't know, I really thought guides were made for like, guiding? Maybe? But no. Look, it's so easy now, I've gotten it every time. Since I like, understood what to actually do. I will go to Vulture Culture for my final performance. But I won't go to it the normal way. I'll go to it this way. First try. First try, no! You can't do it with both characters. Is that true? Ah, I did it. All right, it does work with the plane. Oh, we're, this isn't vulture culture. It's orangutan gang. We were close. All right, one of these corners is vulture culture. Is it this one? Uh, maybe. No, this isn't. No! This isn't vulture culture. <laughs> okay, okay. This one. This one's gotta be it. This one's gotta be it. This one's gotta be it. Vulture culture, baby. Vulture culture, baby. Come on! Okay, it, the only other one I'm willing to try is this one. This one's gotta be it. Vulture culture, baby. Ah! Alright, well that is it, folks. That's it for Donkey Kong Country. A uh, stellar first game in a series. A plus. Maybe. Eh, minus.